Quick note, this video is longer but smoother. The red frame is season 1 and the blue frame is season 2. And once again, I won't be doing hitboxes for active frames just like this one. Rage Art is active for one more frame. Season 1 Rage Art. And Season 2 Rage Art. Okay, so no more active frame stuff. If you don't do a move out of Rage Drive Golden Stance, you recover 7 frames faster. The unblockable from Golem is not reversible and deals more damage. It did feel silly that your mix-up can easily be punch parried, but they almost fixed that. What? What? That's right. So if a reverse is specific against highs, it will parry. But at least it's still a mix-up, right? Well, never mind. Your 1-2 is now more punishable. I don't understand the patch notes for this, because it still looks the same. The animation is quicker, so if the opponent blocks the first hit, they will block the second hit, which means they can't interrupt it in the middle just like before. Glyph Stance did hang low and avoided some highs. But not all highs. Now, it universally avoids highs. I don't have old footage, but it's a small nerf. Same for this kick, less damage. Since opponent is closer, it's easier to combo, especially from a distance. One whole more damage, but the last hit can be slightly delayed. The damage on the second hit is increased a little bit. Four three is no longer punishable and better on hit. So take this with a grain of salt. I think this is what they meant by the patch notes, uh, but this also have human error because it's tough pushing jab at the moment of recovery.
Gigas' headbutt was a really good move, except for it being jab punishable. But now, it's safe and more damage. Goliath's mid has been nerfed a little bit, while his unblockable has gotten better. The mid doesn't offer fame advantage, and with less pushback. His weird jump does deal 33% more damage, but it wasn't good in the first place. This move was spammed a lot for good reason. It was a really good mid, so now it deals a little bit less damage and less pushback. I didn't think about how weird it is that this move didn't even move your opponent, but now it does, and it has less pushback on block. This move didn't change together, but now it does. This was one of his best lows, and the damage slightly decreased because it could be followed up by a fist. And it was only negative 10, so only down jab punishable. It also used to knock down on counter hit. This move now has less pushback on block, but now it hits them far back because now it's a wall bounce move. Less pushback is the only nerf on this good low. I'm not sure for the reason for changing this. I know that it could wall splat now, but I forgot if it could wall splat before. It used to be a high that could launch, and has really good frame advantage on block, but it really does look like a mid, and now it is, and it is punishable. Now this attack has less pushback on hit and block, but this also means the only moves from Golem are now mid. It can avoid a quick low, but the recovery is longer, so sliding lows can still hit. This high crushing launcher got better with a small damage boost, and how it hits mid-air and grounded has changed. A better frame advantage if you hit with the knee. I have zero clue on why they nerfed this. It could crush lows if anybody actually used it, but now you can't crush lows on reaction.
This used to be punishable and sometimes can hit a sidestepper. But now, it's unpunishable linear attack. It could have been a good move if it wasn't jab punishable, but now it's safe in exchange for not knocking your opponent down. The second part always did look like a mid, but it was a high. I saw many times people not ducking this move. But now since it's a mid, negus 13 frames on block and less pushback, this move looks more appropriate in the Tekken universe. Two of the rising attacks has less pushback and your running 2 also pushes back less. So this is a new move, and this is what it looks like. but it's negative 14. Counter hit will make them spin. I could only perform a small combo afterwards. Any attempt into making a juggle didn't work for me. So, so far, this is my best combo. Sidestep 2 can sometimes hit a sidestepping opponent, but you can really rely on it. I'm using Lily because she's considered the best sidestepper. But now, it's a homing move and covers all around. Wow. Alright, thank you for watching, and the link in the upper left is my Paul Patches Change video. The bottom left is my previous video stating why I was gone for so long. And finally, the video on the right are my friends dancing to a K-pop song. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.